it is now time to learn a new command please note that print command that we showed you just now it is used to display something meaning output something to the screen your monitor right now let us learn how to take something as input from your keyboard by writing a piece of code i have now opened the spider terminal as you can see and here is my what is called the console where you can type your code here is my place where i can type my code what do i mean by that let me remove whatever is present here once you become a proficient programmer you can you will understand what was present and what am i deleting it's about documenting your code anyway let's not worry about it now look at i can now say a equals 1 a equals a equals a plus 1 and then after a equals 1 i'll say print a and then after a equals a plus 1 i'll say print a okay now i want this to be executed all at once this is equivalent to remember in this console we were trying to type something the in the previous uh, discussion a equals 1 print a this is same as a equals 1 put a semicolon and then say print a correct a equals 1 print a and then a equals a plus 1 and then print a will simply execute all these things at once this can be given here or the same thing can also be given here when you give here you must execute this code by going to the menu click on run and then click on run if you first ask me to save this file it is just like saving your simple ms word file i'll type print.py it should always have py extension okay like how your ms word files have dot doc extension and uh, notepad files have dot txt extension your python has dot py extension click on save wherever you want it to be saved and now when you go to run and then say run it will run and do you see the answer 1 and 2 is the answer it says running this particular file okay let me write more a equals a plus 1 and then print a okay i will copy paste this and then repeat this again perfect this is so much fun i want to see what exactly happens now from here i plan to execute it so how many times should it print a um once twice three four five times six times seven times eight times nine times let's make it 10 times now now what do you expect to be the output it should have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 correct let's see if this is what this does go to run and click on run you will get see perfect 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 what did you learn just now you can write a sequence of codes using semicolon here i will show you wait where was that it is here like this you can type or you can type it like this and even save it for future reference right you can save this file here is your program what does the program do assign 1 to the variable a and print the variable a as i told you variable is more like an entity which stores a value a now has 1 but the same a is now incremented by 1 and then you print a and then you increment a by 1 print a and so on so bare minimum prerequisites is expected in this course and many of you do not know anything about programming so all of you who is seeing programming for the first time will find these lessons very um, self explanatory and people who know some programming already might be getting bored because we are talking about basics but very soon you will see that we'll pace up and cover the whole of python and get into some really cool computing applications So please uh, tolerate our simplicity for the next few lecture videos.